Well, I guess we're gonna miss Clover and Daisy once again. Oh, oh, Gordo's cousin Taylor. That's a four-year-old we kind of know. Yeah. Uh, hey, Gordo. Well, morning, ladies. Listen, do you think your uh, cousin Taylor would want to go to Clover and Daisy Live with us on Saturday? They're in town. Yeah. But his dad just got transferred to Tokyo. I, I don't think I'll make it in time. But I'll go. Uh, with who? With you guys. I love that fuzzy twosome. Uh, can we still get tickets? Gordo, we're teenagers. It's a kiddie show. We can't go. Unless we have a kid with us that's between the ages of two and five. Why not? Uh, social stigma? Finger pointing? Do we like them? Yes, so then we go. Uh, you are so evolved. If evolved means that I can like Foo Fighters, Vintage Pinball, and Clover and Daisy, then thank you. I'm evolved. Yeah. You know, we've got eclectic tastes too. I mean, we're practically adults now. We make our own decisions. Sometimes. Yeah, Gordo doesn't have to be the only one who's evolved. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Next stop, Clover and Daisy. Now, what you're about to see may frighten small children. I warned you, if you are too squeamish, please leave the room now. Wow, that's some old sandwich. Indeed, it's fossilized. And no bugs? How did you do it? It's a scientific mystery. No, no, let's not linger. There's an amazing stain coming up right over here. Well, Matt seems really excited about his study group. Yeah. Boy, I didn't have a study group till I was in college. And he's only in the fourth grade. You know, school is getting so hard. Yeah, I mean, what could they possibly have to study? And I didn't recognize half the kids from his class. Well, some of them did seem a little old, didn't they? 